guys? So we're going to look at soundproofing your apartment from outside noise for your apartment, uh, home, your condo, whatever you might have. So I moved into this uh, wonderful condominium which I bought and love it. Um, however, one thing that I didn't like so much was that you know, I was living downtown uh, in the heart of downtown. You know, it's a great lakeside property, but uh, I do get a bit of street noise. And being downtown Toronto, that pretty much 24-7, there's always, always cars running. So not that it was particularly loud, but there's always be a bit of a buzzing sound from cars, uh, you know, even though I'm still pretty high up. That would, you know, sometimes um, kind of get on my nerves a little bit. So I looked at different ways to be able to, to manage that better. And... Uh, you know, did a lot of research. I want to share some of my findings with you, which I think might help you. But um, yeah, you know, and right now I'm just loving it. I love the way um, acoustically everything is is the way I want. So, you know, I'm going to take you through everything from bass traps to using uh, acrylic magnetic windows, uh, custom curtains with the mass loaded vinyl, and even the type of furniture that you use. So, so first off, this is a pretty big space here. And when I first moved in, it was relatively empty, obviously, just moved in. Um, and really what it comes down to is that there's not too much you can do to, to completely stop sound. But you really can reduce the impact of it, and particularly when it enters the room, how much it echoes. Because when it echoes more, it happens um, you know, so quickly that that increases the amount of sound in the room. And, and it sounds louder and when something is dulled or muffled it's just it's you know it's echoing less in the, in the room so filling up your place with with uh, a lot of stuff helps with with sound absorption uh, the type of things that you use uh, does matter like for instance if it's you have this couch here this would actually probably reflect sound a little bit more because the leather couch and uh, this futon here would absorb because it's cloth and, and there's a lot of absorb, absorbent material here. So it's kind of like uh, yin and yang. You know, you want stuff that's yang, that's soft, that absorbs energy, like stuff like a table will help, that will actually reflect uh, energy. But one of the biggest things that can make a really big difference, it's a very commonplace, you know, uh, item out there is carpets. I, you know, couldn't believe how much of a difference carpets makes with absorbing sound. Particularly here, everything here is hardwood floor and it would just basically, um, hardwood is a conductor of, of sound. So even that, the floor itself acts sort of uh, as a conductor. I mean, just think of wood instruments. I mean, they're made out of that wood because they, they uh, vibrate with sound uh, very well. And basically what carpet does is it, it actually um, keeps sound from reflecting. It absorbs uh, some of the sound, which can make a pretty big difference. So. Uh, there's different type of rugs here. This is a, a low pile rug, and you just get it at an IKEA. And there's also a high pile rug. So that's this is a high pile rug. It's not as thick. And then we got a uh, low pile rug, which basically is um, a lot thicker, right? So it just comes down to that you know if you if you can go thicker, go thicker, right? Here I've got pretty much carpeting all in this room here. Um, can make a massive, massive, massive difference in terms of, uh, um, you know, sound absorption here. So, again, so carpeting, uh, nothing fancy there. Just, you know, go to Ikea, go to any place, and it can make a huge acoustical difference. Uh, the sound that comes from outside coming into your, your home. So, uh, the other thing here is I looked at acrylic magnetic windows. So basically here I have a layer, um, it's basically an acrylic layer over my regular windows and I had these specially in installed here. And the, these are made of uh, plastic acrylic material and it's got a magnetic stripe on here so it sort of seals like a, like a fridge door. And the reason why this is effective uh, for sound, it's also effective for insulation, is that Acrylic is actually a material that, that 
does not conduct sound very well as opposed to glass uh, it does so uh, for the, the price that you get it's much much cheaper than than replacing the cost of your whole windows we're getting uh, you know much thicker windows but you can get uh, these acrylic windows and uh, they do a pretty good job of absorbing sound and they're magnetic so ultimately sound is vibrating air so it helps trap the air so uh, there's an appropriate gap uh, between there's about an inch or so which sort of leaves a little trap of air and so this applies not only to the sound absorption but insulating uh, you know when it gets cold outside whatnot insulating everything very well so you know acrylic windows uh, works very well uh, acrylic is actually a material that is used for airplanes so I mean airplanes is a good example you're flying super high and and basically you know the sound of the engine is is really really loud and it would blow your ears out if you were beside it but the acrylic has does a good job of uh, being able to uh, absorb the sound so and so here I got a nice little lake view and uh, and I've got uh, you know the street that can make a little bit of noise there but you know love Toronto great city um, but you know I don't necessarily want to hear a buzzing sound 24-7 so you can hear a little bit more buzzing here because you know we're getting close to rush hour and basically you know I'm most close to the window here but but all the things that I have here do a really good job so um, I'm gonna show you how these acrylic windows work in terms of absorbing sound so we're gonna actually go through an example here Let's, let me put it pull out an iPod and we're gonna play some music outside of the acrylic window. Oh, hold on. let me turn this on here. I got a little boombox. Okay, so this thing goes pretty loud here. It's down right here. Hear how it sounds. Let's go further back. So, you know, you can hear it pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna now remove the acrylic window here. So I just pull off the latch here. I might have to put down the camera because it's a little hard to do with one hand. Actually, I want to just demonstrate how this works. So you pull these off, all these windows have panels. And so then you, you also have the regular windows here. This actually be, was a lot more popular back in the 70s because it have a lot of heritage buildings that you couldn't change the, the appearance of the window. So on that basis there, uh, they have to. They can change the outside of the window, the, the appearance there. So um, basically, uh, this became very popular. Okay, so I'm putting back the music on. Sorry, I have to put the camera aside there. So the camera there. So let's go back. So you notice as I've been putting this on, the sound gets dampened a little bit, and you know basically lock in once I lock this in so there's still a bit of a gap here because this wire here is not completely allowing us to close so now let's step back a little bit here you can hear the sound is muffled and let's just stand back even further so pretty big difference you know you still hear it but along with all the other things that uh, you know, that I'm going to show you like the bass traps and also acoustic curtains uh, It can make a pretty good difference here. So, you know, it definitely takes a, the sharpness out of the sound yeah. All right, hopefully I don't drop the camera again Actually, sorry, you know what? I'm going to demonstrate See that? It's a loud rinse to All righty so let's take that out, put the acrylic back in. You can see the magnetic stripes on the side. So it just, it feels pretty much like a fridge. 
uh, magnet. And you can't really even tell these things are on. Like, you know, aesthetically, these are these are good. And because they're plasticky, they don't break. You know, like, it's not like dropping glass. Okay, so uh, next thing here is uh, base traps. So this base trap here is actually just unexposed here. And I also have base traps underneath these on this cloth here. Um, basically, base traps, uh, what they do is they absorb, obviously, bass sounds, and you put them actually in the corner of your wall. That's why they're sort of cornered like this, right? And this is, of course, absorbent material. They're not flat, so if sound's coming towards it, it's absorbing with these, with these edges. So you can get base traps in fiber, glass, uh, and also foam. These are foam. I, I recommend foam instead because fiber glass can be potentially cancerous if it breaks um, because of the small particles you might breathe it in and uh, that can be very harmful but foam is, is pretty safe here and so these are relatively relatively inexpensive I've got a ton of these though uh, laid out throughout the place so the reason why base traps are effective you put them in the corner uh, of your room and basically when base energy enters the room it tends to be attracted to the corners of rooms because base energy is a little bit different from um, higher frequency sound. So the acrylic, I think, does a good job of higher frequency blocking, but some of the lower uh, frequency sounds, uh, they're less directional. They tend to sort of ooze out, right? Whereas uh, high, high frequency sound sort of comes more directional right at you, right? So it comes with more sort of a, a spread wavelength. And, and it tends to pull, the uh, base energy tends to pull the corners of the wall until it hits hits uh, uh, the hard surfaces and then sort of spreads to the next one, right? So uh, this is actually a tool that's used for uh, recording studios and, you know, uh, people uh, into the acoustic quality. So if you even, you know, you have a listening room where you're listening to music, uh, it actually really helps with the music quality just because it takes some of the, the excessive bass, which distorts, distorts things. So... Uh, a base trap here basically um, helps absorb that, and it converts that that um, that sound to, to heat energy. So, so basically, um, you know, I have a ton of uh, base trap laid out in the corner here, and I just cover it up for sort of aesthetics portion, so you don't have these things hanging out. And um, yeah, you just get them, you, you lay them out, and you can, you know, if you want them to uh, fit tight, uh, tightly on the wall, you can. Put a, an extra sponge or something like that but you know you want to get them nice and tight against the wall uh, try to reduce the gap between the wall like here i'm just having it laid out here just for the sake of example so you can see what it is and i don't want to undo these ones because they're nice and snug but just get it nice and snug against the wall in the corner and that can make a big difference and even putting that this um this cloth here that actually sort of traps the air a, a little bit additionally that can actually make a bit of a difference okay so this is a i guess you call this a bit of a tapestry too um, you can also get little wall coverings as well to help. It's almost like putting a carpet on your wall, which energy comes uh, and it sort of absorbs energy uh, and sound energy from here as well. Okay. So let's uh, let's move on to. Uh, well, I'll just show you quickly. Show you the study here. Um, nothing too fancy here. Basically, carpeting does uh, uh, most of the trick. I got base traps here uh, and. You know, that's, and then some curtains here, which these are pretty regular curtains, but they're still pretty thick. And uh, also that, I've got a blackout curtain uh, beneath that, which which I'll place a link on where you get the blackout curtains. That does help with some of the high frequency sounds. Uh, with the blackout curtain, it's not super thick, but, um, you know, it still does a pretty good job, all, all that, with, with uh, you know, helping stop uh, outside street sound. Okay, so let's uh, now look at bedroom. Oh, sorry, let me get the uh, the iPod there. All right. Okay, so this of course is all carpeted here, which uh, you'll even see the difference when you want to place this. Uh, on the ground and the carpeting, it almost sound muffled already. So let's hit play. So you notice it sounds a little bit muffled. Well, okay, it just fell down, but just the the carpet itself helps absorb that that energy. 
uh, a little bit dinner. Okay, so the example of putting it outside the curtain is for you to hear what it sounds like outside of the curtain. Okay, now let's stop that. So uh, these curtains are basically custom curtains. Uh, I purchased from them from Quiet Curtains uh, online, and they're actually pretty quick about designing it. And basically, it's got a thick material on the outside, but it's got this mass-loaded vinyl on uh, on the inside. So basically, here and then I've also got an additional level of curtains, which will, and then also got uh, blinds as well. So you know, there's a lot of uh, acoustic blocking that is taking place. So let me just insert this in here. Okay, so we're going to move the, the curtains one by one so you can hear the difference. So now we just got the blinds covering it. So the blinds do a little bit. If you notice here, even if I move the blinds a little bit, there's a tiny bit of blocking here. Okay. Now we put the first layer of curtains. So this is just a regular store bought curtains. Yeah, some muffling here. And then we put on the quiet curtains. Get a little bit more. Let's uh, uh, replay that song again so you can hear it. So not bad, you know, you still hear, but it's very, very muffled, right? All right. So anyways, um, yeah, just speaking about blinds, blinds does help a little bit. Uh, it makes a difference of what type of blinds you have. These are sort of just thin cloth blinds. Um, if you can get, you can get thick, thicker ones that are soft and material, that can make a big, big difference. Um, if you, uh, but if you have wood blinds, they will not help because they will reflect the, the sound. So, anyways, um, yeah, that's all she wrote. So you know, hope this helped you out. I thought maybe some of my research with uh, acrylic. Uh, material and uh, base traps particularly might be of use uh, to you so um, anyways this makes a, for a pretty happy environment right now takes away a lot of that buzz uh, buzzing sound that's constantly there when if you live in a city like a place like Toronto you know New York um, you know Montreal you might get get a little bit of, a bit of that um, you know it's it's hard to completely stop the sound but you know definitely uh, you know, really does a lot to strip the strength away from the sound, so you don't, you don't constantly hear that noise. But uh, yeah, I'm a pretty happy camper with all the the work that I've done in researching that. So hope you found this useful, and uh, yeah, check it out. There's be links at the bottom of this video to uh, show you where I purchased uh, some of the products. Okay, talk to you later. Ah.